Hi, I'm Guy Manthill, Technical Product Manager for Knauf Insulation. Today we're here in Long Bay, Auckland, following a case study between the builder HC Homes and the insulation installer Mega Insulation. The challenge is to achieve an H1 compliance for a five bedroom bespoke timber frame building. So Knauf Insulation are proposing an R7 in the ceiling and an R2.6 in the walls. Come and have a look at what we're doing in this property. In May 2023, the New Zealand Building Code H1 requirements changed. The changes saw insulation zonings changing from three to six and insulation levels increasing significantly to lift the energy efficiency of residential buildings by up to 40%. As a result, buildings will require a much higher level of insulation. In most cases, an R7 in the ceiling and in some climate zones, an R2.6 in the walls. Timber frame subfloors will also require an increase in thermal performance. So here we can see the perimeter insulation going into the ceiling to allow for the 25mm air gap at the perimeter. The perimeter insulation can be an R3.3, 500mm away from the perimeter before having to increase to an R7. The other option is a heel truss or a barrier that maintains the separation at the eaves. Comparing to other types of uh, insulations, uh, we prefer kind of insulation because it's not itchy to touch and easy to handle as well. And also the binders uh, is extracted from the natural product, so it gives you a good smell. We always uh, recommend Canaf earth wool, also because it's safe on the labor hours. It's faster to uh, install, so we prefer single layers of 7.0. Here we are with all the insulation completed. We've got the R7 installed in the ceiling. A tidy, excellent job achieving the H1 requirements. And in the walls, we have the R2.6 neatly fitted and gets a nice finish into the framing. So for more information on the Knauf insulation products, please visit our website.